Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy, and welcome back. Today, I'm going to be making edible paper clips. Paper clips, the little metal clips I use to hold pieces of paper together. I'm going to be making an edible version of that. So you may ask why there's no particular reason except that I just want to take up the challenge of seeing if I can make edible paper clips. I first learned about this, of course, from an ASMR channel where they eat all kinds of faux object foods. I'll put a link down below to the channel below. It's ASMR Chow. She eats the paper clips, but she does not demonstrate how she makes them. So I'm here today to sleuth out the recipe and the technique, and then I'm gonna go ahead and proceed to eat them. So the big reveal is what are these paper clips made out of? Dee -dee 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 -dee. Pasta. Skinny, skinny, skinny pasta. This is angel hair pasta, the thinnest pasta I could find. And what I'm going to do is cook it. So in this little saucepan, I've got some water. We don't need much, just about an inch or so. Water's come up to boil. Now we're gonna take the angel hair pasta and we're going to break it in half and drop it in there. And we're gonna simmer this for four to six minutes until the pasta is tender. Now that our pasta is cooked, we're going to drain it. <laughs> Now I've got a Silpat lined baking sheet here. I have a little post-it note, which I've traced a couple templates of paper clips, a large size and a smaller size. And I can barely see it through the Silpat. For the large paper clip, we don't have to cut the pasta at all, but for the smaller one, we're gonna cut maybe about an inch off. And this is the easiest way I've found to make the paper clips. You actually don't even need a template. So you take your warm pasta and you swirl it into a little snail shape, just like that. You want one, two, three, four layers of your snail. And then you just pinch it together. You narrow it up. Now the pasta likes to stick to your fingers. So a little dish of cold water helps and then you can kind of manipulate the pasta without it sticking. If you follow the swirly technique, you don't need the template at all, but the template is more just a reference for size and for width. So again, here's the technique. You just swirl it around. It can be counterclockwise, clockwise, but you want one, two, three, four pieces of pasta going across. Get your fingers wet and then just pinch it. Kind of pinch it together and you got yourself the perfect paper clip. Now the first few that I made, I actually attempted to follow the template and it was just ridiculous. Midnight and I'm making pasta paper clips. But then I figured out this swirly technique and I was just like, ah! So again, you take the pasta, swirl it around, and then make sure you have four widths of pasta and then you use your dampened fingers and you just squeeze it together. You're like a pasta paper clip maker. Do, 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 it's so simple and easy. Now you're gonna let these dry. Now I just let these dry overnight on my countertop and by morning, they looked like this. Da ding Like this. It went back to their dried pasta form, completely hard, as you can hear, and in the shape of pasta. Now some of these are more successful than others. Some of them want to curl up, but generally speaking, they look just like paper clips. Isn't that great? It's so satisfying to actually get that shape. As you can imagine, the larger paper clips are easier to form and to shape. Now to make this look even more realistic, we wanna add a little bit of color. I thought about adding some luster dust or luster dust mixed with some alcohol to get these to look metallic, but I thought it would be more fun to do the colorful version of paper clips. So to do that, I use some white food coloring and just regular food coloring. You can use liquid or paste, whatever you got. But the white is really important because you want it to be a little bit opaque. I've got some dried ones here. You could also probably dry these in a warm oven, turn on your oven and then turn off your oven and then place your pasta in there and just let them kind of dry out. Now we're gonna take a clean brush that's just designated for food. Now we're gonna take a little bit of our food coloring Put a drop here and some hot pink. Dampen your brush, remove most of the moisture, and we're gonna take a little bit of the white and mix it with the pink until we get the shade that we want. 
I found using a chopstick to hold the paper clip in place really useful. We're just gonna paint the paper clip or the pasta. Flip it over and make sure you get both sides and then just let this air dry. It makes it look so much more believable when you add the color to it. Love it. That shape, oh my goodness. Okay. And this is the finished result. Aren't they great? They turned out so great. So, so pleased. Actually very, very simple to make. You're just using pasta and <laughs> shaping it and letting it dry back until it's hard again. And listen how crunchy they are. And they look just like paper clips. Yee! Okay, let's give them a taste. I don't expect these to taste like much. I just want to eat one. So I'm always using food coloring for all kinds of things, particularly when I am doing fun experiments with my kids. And so it always gets all over our hands. And I found toothpaste works really well in getting it off. Although blue can be pretty stubborn. But anyways, I'll be washing my hands with toothpaste after this. I should also be very clear. These are fake paper clips. They are made out of pasta. Please do not eat paper clips. Alrighty, itadakimasu. <laughs> Tastes like pasta. The whole inside of my mouth is gonna be white. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it doesn't taste like anything but plain pasta. A little bit of salt would have been great. So if you want these to taste like something, add a bit of salt. Let's eat this big red one. Here we go. There you have it, edible paper clips. <laughs> Before I leave you, I wanna do one other thing. I wanna to test to see if my paper clips actually do the business of holding paper together. I'm gonna to go grab some paper. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Oh, here's some. Da, da. Let's see, I think it's gonna work. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. It's so exciting, it totally works. Edible paper clips that totally work. Dun, 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 dun. Alrighty, my beautiful lovelies, there you have it. Edible paper clips that actually clip paper together. And if you're feeling a little bit nauseous, you can just eat them. Remember, these are edible paper clips. They're made out of pasta. Do not eat real paper clips. I often get questions about my t-shirts and I buy a lot of them at a store called Frog and Toad in Providence and they very kindly sent me this shirt. I will put a link down below in case you're interested. This is not a sponsored post. I'm just sharing where this shirt came from. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video. Don't know what I'm doing with my hands, but I am. Subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye.